Okay, hello. Welcome back to Diablo 3. What I'm working on today is the wonderful Riff, well not Riff Challenge, the Mastering a Dungeon Set. And from what I read and seen on videos, supposedly the Mortal Kings set is the easiest to master. And I'm doing that. If you do Shift J, you'll bring up this. And to complete Slayer, you gotta do one thing in a dungeon. So, and to get champion, as you see, I've got everything else done. It's master any dungeon set. And the rest of the stuff, like this one's done. This one, I've got, yeah, kill Mattel, him, uh, augment an item, and then get three conquest. And then I will get my pet. So, three conquest will not be harsh. I've already got two. Um, but back to this so from what I was researching the big thing that you need is well the set of course and I also have to change my stuff in my cube I didn't do that yet but you need to reduce cooldown so on every item as you can see I changed around for reduce cooldown or it already had cooldown that one I had to change around that one I had to change I couldn't do cooldown on those at all. This one cooldown. This one didn't have a chance for cooldown. That one reduced cooldown, which already on it. And to do that, in case you don't know, you have to go to this one full of woman here. Select your item. You put it in. And let me go to an item that I did not do anything to yet, which would be this. Okay, you'll have your whole list here. You hit the little question mark that tells you all the items that it can become and the percentages. So as you see right here, it does not have anything for cooldown. So I didn't even touch that. Now, let me go through the items real quick. Uh, mental channeling. Of course, the Mortal King's hands. The Skull Grasp Ring for Whirlwind damage because Whirlwind's one of our powers. This also has your skill cooldowns reduced by nine seconds for 15 seconds after killing the lead pack which helps out um, these are the boots the pants now this is using war cry increases movement speed for you and your allies affected by 33 percent for 10 seconds um, that's why we have that one on there for speed instead of the belt uh, this is of course armor the headgear now with your amulets, you could use many different amulets to just get your reduced cooldown, you know, at a good percentage. This is new for season 27. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that here in a second. I just did lifesteal because it didn't have anything else for me to do. This has cooldown. Also reduce the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second whenever you hit a resource spending attack, which will be our whirlwind. And then there's this, which also adds rin damage. So that will help killing and also the 10% cooldown. And, uh, which you can go to your details to see what your cooldown is. Cooldown reduction 54.83%. And I didn't do change anything on her at all. Nothing on her. This is just, just what I roll with all the time. Um, this is for double the amount of death breaths, which is great to have. Uh, gold, uh, that I just throw that gem in there. That is not going to help us at all, or that. So nothing amazing. That might help us out, because it creates a focus for killing, and then that also helps kill things. So that's not really important at all. And sometimes you just have to get the follower away, because they cause problems. Now your skills, ignore pain, uh, bravado. Wrath of the Berserkin, Insanity, War Cry, Charge, Threatening Shout, Grim Harvest, Whirlwind, Wind Shear is what I went with, uh, Call of Agents, The Council Rises, and then down here, Pound of Flesh, Rampage, um, Boon of Bull Cathos, and Unforgiving. So, then we have to go to our cube, which I need to change around, and that is going to go to, da, da, da. we need more cooldown, so we use that guy. And then we're going to need more cooldown again. So we're going to go to Lyric's Crown. Use that one. 
and then since I do not have the complete set put on, which this was my first drop on my Act 1 bounty was Rain and Granger, so I got lucky. So now we have that set up. So we got the cooldown, we got the set, we got it complete now because of the Ring of Grandeur. And now you have to be in Act 3 for this to happen. I put it down to normal because, as you see, I'm playing hardcore. And you have to go to Ruins of whatever that place is called. So I'm going to run on over. And since this is on normal, I'm not afraid of anything just coming up and killing me. This is actually my first run of it. So you come over here, and then it appears right here. So let's see what this is. Kill every elite using 400% damage bonus. Kill 150 enemies with Wrath of the Berserking active. So pretty much complete everything. Do not get fatal damage. Um, game difficulty does not affect the dungeon. So let's get up in here. Let's get our people out. And let's start going. And da da da. And just keep going. As you see, my numbers are just going up. I uh, probably shouldn't need to cast that, but I did. Um, you just whirlwind all the way through. Just keep going, keep going. And you're mainly just keep going. All this good stuff. Uh, Wrath of Berserk in. I let go down. I was not paying attention, but maybe I can still get this. Uh, oh, I did my 400%. And watch, get my Berserkian back up. And keep going. Do my shouts and stuff. See, come on, speed. Got 41 more to kill. Where is everybody? Here we go. And come on. And got it. So I completed it, got it all. This was my first attempt on doing this, especially on season 27. I think maybe ever doing this set. So extremely, extremely easy. And one thing that I think helped me out, you know, and you see me completing this, completing this, completing that, because of that one thing, which I put off so much. Because this used to be the most frustrating thing. So I want to go back. And what I forgot to mention is how to make these little guys. So, you can get a good bit of these drops. And here's what we do, we get it. And you can also do it for your puzzle ring. You do that for your puzzle ring so you'll have just wonderful goblins, great drops. Just a whole amazing situation. Now you can only have one of these equipped at a time. And this one I went with the world wind pulls in and holds enemies within 25 yards. So it changes up for season 27 to be able to complete this. It's a whole lot easier with that, a whole lot easier. Now, let me see, what do I want to mess with? Uh, so we can just randomly get something. Okay, let, let me go with this one. So what you end up doing is you right click, and then you hit that. Oh. Nope, nope, sorry. That one did not work. It doesn't work with jewelry, I guess. But it will, it will, if you do it to a set item, it's no longer a set item. So the best thing to do is on an ancient item. So let me see, I'll take this guy. I did not know it didn't work on jewelry, but then you say okay, and then boom. Now you have frenzy, you know, whirlwind pulls and holds all enemies within 25 yards. And all of your stats are maxed out. And then say if you want to change something, and those who maxed out, this is just like a primal. You go up here, throw it up here, and then say, you know, avalanche. I don't want that. I want something else. 
to damage anything. So, or you don't want that, you rather have something else and then use the cube to bring it open. Let's see, like that, that's what I would end up doing. So, like vitality a thousand something. And then you want to have a socket in it to add damage. You go back and you have this guy. Which all you have to do is right click and then left click over on it. Then boom, you got it socketed, which I'll just do right now. Are you sure you want to do this? Boom. Now I can throw something in there to make it even more powerful. So right now it's 69.9% more damage. Well, I don't have that situation, but just throwing this in, that's now 113.2% more damage. So hopefully this video helps you out with doing the set, season 27 new stuff and maybe getting your season joint journey done and get everything complete so you can get that pet and this is with a barbarian thank you very much please be kind to others enjoy the game and hopefully i'll get to see you some more later bye